Hey YouTube friends, I just wanted to create this video to share with you something that I think would create a lot of bling for your 110 scale RC vehicle. Um, as you can see, it's uh, a LED light kit. I just installed this on my Toyota Tamiya Toyota Chandra high lift and I am loving the results I'm getting. What I found uh, when I was researching this is that the light kits are either way too expensive or they're so cheap they don't actually work. But this one I picked up on Amazon.com and it worked perfectly. It has, the thing I like about it is it has um, enough lights for my Tundra and it, the lights work as they're supposed to as opposed to doing crazy stuff that, that other vehicles don't. So let me just show you uh, what you're getting if you purchase this kit. By the way, here's uh, what the box looks like. It's not very big. Um, I believe it was less than $15, but um, I don't want to quote any prices because by the time you see this video, the price might have gone up or gone down. Uh, but it's you know a small box. Comes with everything that you need. Um, it has, I believe, three sets of, uh, of white lights, uh, two sets of amber lights, um, brake lights, rear, rear lights. And so basically it has enough to complete, you know, most one, t uh, one scale, or 110 scale RC cars. I mean, I think if you need more lights then you can uh, wire some additional ones. But anyway, so it's on and let me show you what it does. So, um, so if it's forward, then the high beams come on, and then the turn signals. I hope you can see this in the video. All right, and this is left. All right, okay. Let me show you the back. Okay, and you see the bright brake lights. Oh, actually the rear lights are on. So if I give it some throttle and turn and stop, there you go, the brake lights are on. And if I wanted to reverse, there you go. And then demonstrate the, the rear blinkers. So anyway, um, yeah, so this light kit works perfectly and it works, um, and uh, you know, you might see some flashing or, or the, the LEDs look like they're flashing, but I think it's the result of the video as opposed to what it looks like in real life because in real life, the, 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 the light is solid. Um, I just noticed that while I'm looking at through the viewfinder for my video camera. Uh, but anyway, it, you know, it, it, it works great. The only thing that I don't like about it is that um, it there's no way for you to turn it on and off because once you install it, you uh, you there's no on and off switch, so to speak. So it's kind of on all the time, but I'll figure it out. I mean, I, I'm trying to figure out an on off switch for it. And I'm not going to show you how to wire it because it's actually pretty simple. It comes with, you know, this little instruction manual. And basically, it will tell you where uh, each light socket goes. The, the, the LEDs are, uh, have sockets in them, and they're numbered. So this little manual, it's not very large, but it's a couple of pages long, but it'll tell you exactly where to, to uh, plug everything in. If you can't follow you know, the simple directions in the manual, then you probably shouldn't be playing with RC cars. And so um, one final thought is this. Um, well, anyway, I can't, I can't think of my final thought, but I just wanted to share it with you so that if you wanted to get something similar uh, for your RC vehicle, then this is a good choice because it actually works and it's really uh, inexpensive without being super cheap. And it looks really good. Cool. So thanks for watching and if this has been helpful, please like or subscribe.